Ringa Ringa Roses is one of the most popular songs in between all English speaking countries and I like to use it for swimming education purpose. The way that we get this done is normally we get the parents to seat their baby or toddler on swimming mat and while the swimming mat is slowly spinning we all together start singing Ringa Ringa Roses, a pack of full of poses, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down and then we encourage our babies and toddlers to fall into the water. There are a couple of the things to remember though. First of all, we want our babies and toddlers to pay close attention to the instructions that we give and wait for the cue. And that's why we're going to ask them to wait, wait until to the moment that we want them to fall into the water. The second part is looking for water conditioning signs. When they fall into the water, we got to check their water conditioning signs. If they show positive water conditioning signs, then it's fine. Their head can go under the water. But if they show negative water conditioning signs, that means that they're not ready to go under the water and their head is supposed to stay out of the water. Then we continue the song and help our babies and toddlers to climb up the mat and continue the song for as many rounds as we want. Let's go to the next slide, then I can show you how I use this wonderful song for swimming education purpose. Ringa ringa roses, a pack of full of poses, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. Ringa ringa roses, a pack of full of poses, a tissue, 